In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the Dialog Denoiser module as a zero latency plugin within your DAW, in this case, Pro Tools. So we have here an instance of the Dialog Denoiser inserted as an AX native plugin on my track. And you can see here from the delay compensation that there is absolutely no delay being introduced by the plugin. So in terms of using it, it's relatively easy. We just place the cursor and play. Hey, it's Russ here at NAM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. And it automatically so analyzes and changes the noise profile accordingly. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. Uh, I'd like to think that most of the people... So that it's really that simple. But there are two modes. So you've just seen it in auto mode. There's also a manual mode. So if we just reset the profile, just as we did with a spectral denoiser, we can give it a segment of audio, put it into manual, hit the learn button and play. And now we've got ourselves a noise profile that we can use for this audio. I'm 2012, I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Alternatively, we can leave it in auto. So let's just reset again and just let it play. Hey, it's Russ here at NAM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Until Bobby we feel it's got a handle on the audio and then hit stop and change it to manual. Now, once we're in manual, with Bobby Lombardi, we can adjust these different, these different nodes to suit the audio. So if we want to improve on things, then we can change the way that it works. And all these parameters for these six thresholds are all available in automation. So if I look at the automation here, you can see the six thresholds are all automatable. So again, you've got two choices. I often just leave an instance of Dialog Denoiser on my interview channel or on my sync sound channel and allow it to automatically denoise the location audio. But if you're not happy with that, then obviously you can use it in the manual mode. And then once you're happy with the sound you've got, then you could write the data for these thresholds into the Pro Tools automation move on to the next clip, set that up and do the same and the same and the same. So when you come to play the session back, the Dialog Denoiser plugin is constantly adapting itself to the settings that you've created. Or you can leave it in auto and allow it to adapt itself as the different audio is presented to it. So here is the Hiss example that we looked at with the Spectral Denoiser. And again, I can just play it and allow it to analyze it and clean it. This is a typical example it. of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. Or, as with the spectral denoiser, we can select our piece of clean noise, put it into manual, put the learn button on, and get it to learn our profile. So now we've got a profile based on the clean noise. This is a typical We can use that to item. actually process our audio. Microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. But just as with the spectral denoiser, one of the tricks is to have two lighter weight passes. We can do the same thing with the dialogue denoiser. So if I just move that one over there, turn off the targeting and create another instance of dialogue denoiser. And we display both of those here. So now what we can do again is I could put them both in auto the reset button and just in auto get it to play and now I've got them working in series still no latency but I've got two instances working in series this is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder or alternatively we could give it a section of clean audio again we'll just reset both those into manual Enable the learn feature and allow it to learn those profiles. So both plugins are learning the profile simultaneously. Now I can use those profiles this to work on the audio. This is example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. And of course, again, I could write the positions of these into the Pro Tools automation data so that Pro Tools will reset the plugin to the settings for this clip each time it plays it. I'll see you again in another video.